What's up everyone, this is Isaac from Hunger Smash Fitness. Just wanted to do a quick video today. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so I'm uh, assuming everyone's gonna be uh, eating a good amount of food. I just wanted to give um, some of my thoughts on everything. So, first of all, one of the things that I think is really important is when you're eating, especially a massive amount of food, like in Thanksgiving, if you are in a restricted state, then you're more likely to binge if you once you break that. So I think that a better option to go about that, instead of trying to avoid and uh, resist the temptation of all the delicious um, other food, all the cookies and, and everything else, all the stuffing and all that, a better route to go is actually to um, eat just meat and veggies first. So the first time you go through, try and have just meat and veggies on your plate. Meat is gonna have a much higher, um, it's gonna make you feel fuller. Um, it's gonna have a higher sati uh, satiety than uh, carbs and a lot of those things. So I think what's best to do is to go through, eat some meat and veggies first, and then if you're still hungry after that, then go back through and get some of the other stuff, some of the stuffing and, and uh, all that sort of um, food and everything. So that's one thing that you can keep in mind. Another thing that you can really keep in mind is if you haven't um, ever taken a walk after a meal, I think this time of year is a great time to actually start doing that. Um, walks after eating are really good. Uh, there's a lot of benefits. So one is that it improves your digestion. Um, it helps move everything around. Um, it helps your body, um, recognize that it is done eating. And so if you, once you eat for a bit and then go and walk, your body usually does a much better job of shutting down that uh, hunger trigger, that, that feeling that you're, that you're still hungry. And so you're more likely to feel more satisfied. Um, so it improves digestion. Um, it helps you regulate sugar as well. So getting everything moving. Um, so if you are, um, if you have problems with insulin and uh, glucose sensitivity, insulin sensitivity, all that sort of stuff, or desensitivity, um, doing a 10 to 15 minute walk after a meal has actually, there's a lot of um, research showing that that can really help with your um, overall blood sugar and overall sensitivity. So it can really help with that. Um, it increases blood flow, so it's really good for heart health, it improves your sleep. So there's a lot of reasons why walking after a meal, just for a short period of time, 10, 15 minutes, that's all you need to do, um, really helps a lot with weight loss and just overall overall health. It can be really beneficial to, to uh, consider doing. And 10 to 15 minutes, it doesn't have to be strenuous, it doesn't have to be um, you don't have to be working up a sweat or anything like that. It can be a nice, nice, easy, gentle pace where you're just moving. The big, the big thing is that you're just moving for about 10 minutes afterwards. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video on that. Um, yeah, so with the, with the Thanksgiving eating and all that coming up, just remember, try and eat more of the meat and veggies first because um, they will help you feel fuller and help prevent you from overindulging in all the sweets and all the carbs. And then once you're done eating, try going for a quick walk. It doesn't have to be very long. So anyways, that's all for today. Um, again, this is Isaac from Hunger Smash Fitness. And just remember to always improve that 1%.